Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. And you can find us on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. And you can also find us on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. So what I'm going to do today is um, I am again in the mood to do some collage, just some thinkless <laughs> uh, activity. And so what I did was I pulled out some of the different digitals that I wanted to use. Uh, you don't have to use digitals, but um, I wanted to use these specific digitals. So I'll show you what I'm going to use here in just a second. And then I had gotten this glue. It is Extra Strength Craft Glue Permanent Bond. I had bought this to do um, some demonstrations at a retreat. Um because I didn't want to purchase a bunch of Uhu. And so I thought I would give this a try, see how this works on doing the collage today. And I'll have the Uhu handy just in case. And uh, once I get the collage done, I'm going to be sewing around it. So hopefully that'll help to, you know, secure it as well. So I've got that. Um, so what I, oops. So what I am working with today is, I'm just going to show you this real quick. I'm going to be using that floral ephemera from my favorite ephemera. And what happened was uh, I didn't have it aligned right when I printed it. So um, I had a misprint. So I just use, I'm going to just use my misprint for uh, today. I'm going to set this aside for a second. And then I cut up some of the uh, my favorite ephemera vintage blue collage snippet strips. I cut out a few of those that I thought I might use. And then again, my favorite ephemera, I cut out a few of these. I didn't cut them all out, but I cut out a few of them. You may remember I told you that I also print this on label paper, but today I'm just using the regular copy paper because uh, I kind of want it a little bit thin for this. And then, of course, um, you know, I love this Vintage Botanical from uh, Sweet, Journal U Sweet Journaling UK. And so I'll be using some scraps and some paper from that. And then um, <laughs> I can't stay away from the mystery bundles from Artsology. So I'm not sure if I'm using bundle one or two because I've got them kind of all mixed up. I've just put packs together f with my favorite ones. And... Um, so those, that's what I'm using today for the most part. The difference today in what I've, I've done in the past as far as uh, collaging, and this is going to be a master board that I'll be cutting up, is that I decided to use funny papers. So um, comics that are in the Sunday paper, and uh, my mom saves those for me. And so I decided to use it because when I was working in my... Um, junk to journal. I'm using some of this in there and I really liked the way it felt. So I thought, hey, let's just give it a try. Now on the back of this, if we have time after we collage the front, on the back of it I have some coffee dyed and just different scraps that I'll probably use on the back. So that's basically what I have planned for today. I poured myself a cup of coffee. This beautiful um, set my daughter got me for Mother's Day. She knows I love um, pretty dishes. So I'll get a quick yum of that real fast. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to set the smalls aside for now because they'll be probably like fill in the blanks as well as uh, I'm, I'm going to do another uh, next layer so it'll probably be you know one to two layers in spots and I think I'm just going to set this up here kind of give myself a little bit of working room here and then here's my glue page um all right so let's get started uh everybody has their own way of doing this you can you know tear your pages you can um uh, cut your pages. It doesn't really matter. It all turns out so beautifully. I'll probably tear a few. And also what I'm going to do is 
I think what I'm going to do is try to go directional in the in the way that uh, this will be the top going down instead of the top going this way. The reason is is because I believe when I cut it, uh, my my paper cutter is going to work a little bit better if I go this way. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start and tear some some pieces and um, since I don't have a seam you can really start anywhere you want so I think what I'm going to do is just tear a few pages and place them a little bit just to give myself a little bit of um, some gluing to do so I think I'll just do that and uh, get started so I hope everybody's having a really good day you know I, I told you that we had experienced quite a bit of rain. Um, I think probably, I'd have to look, but I would venture to say we've had rain every day for maybe seven days. Um, it, it's made it very difficult to do anything outside. However, this morning I got out and worked in the front garden a little bit i it's frustrating because i had worked in it weeding it and things like that a few weeks ago getting ready for a spring planting which i haven't done and the um with all this rain that we've had now, this is going to be a little bit hard for me to, I'll have to really look close once we get down to the wire to see what's paper and what's comics. Uh, you could also do this on black and, you know, black and white newsprint if you wanted. This is a little bit thicker, though. The comics are a little bit thicker. I'm not sure why, but anyways. Um, so, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago, I had tilled up and weeded and all of that. And, uh, was pretty proud of myself and it just about killed my back. Well, anyways, with all of this rain, we, it, there, it, it's as if I'd never done it. Plus, you know, there are so many, I, I don't even know if they're weeds. I, I don't know if the people before, it almost looks like the people before us had planted mint, but not peppermint it almost seems and looks and kind of smells like chocolate mint if you've ever had that it's really good but it's very aggressive and invasive and anyways with all this rain that has taken over the garden the front garden and for some reason I had two of my wonderful lavender bushes have not come back this year. Um, two of them have come back. Two of them have not come back. And I'm not happy about that because I absolutely love them. And I love lavender. And you know when you buy perennials and you love them and you baby them and all of that, you know, you just kind of, you know, have an expectation they're going to come back the next year. But did not did not come back. I don't know why. I'm, I'm, um, and it's only on one side of the garden. So the two on the right side of the garden came back. The two on the left did not. And, um, they're the kind that are woody. And so they kind of, they grow back up the wood that you leave from the year before. And, um, they did not. So, that was disappointing. But anyways, I got half of it done this morning. And my arthritis, <laughs> my old lady, was the, my hips were just killing me. So I came in, took some aspirin, and um, thought, you know what? Why don't I just relax and do some collaging and then go back at it see if we can get it done so that's the plan
You can see, speaking of plan, I have no plan when it comes to this, except I'm trying to make everything go one direction, which so far, except for these little plants, that's about it. And then this particular digital, some of the flowers are every which way, so it doesn't even matter. And I, I like that. I'll have to trim some of this because it's not straight on the top, but it's okay. That's a good one to go across some stuff. I, for the last few years, well, let's see, maybe three times in the last four years, maybe. Something like that. Kathy and I have seen each other, um, <clears throat> traveled, you know, to see each other and, uh, we can't always do it. Stuff gets in the way. Life, you know, happens and finances and things like that. Um, but man, when it works out, it is a wonderful thing for sure. I think I'm just going to tear this. I need a nice piece there. Maybe over here. quiet I did go to that garage sale that big garage sale I think I told you about that um, Joey the university Joey works at they were having um, a large garage sale I, they raised money for something but I can't remember what it was for <laughs> when I hear garage sale, I'm just like what rummage sale I guess you could call it, it was in the gymnasium huge so my oldest daughter and I went over there. They had a employee family preview sale. So we went over and had a blast. And um, I was surprised I didn't, you know, get as much as I thought I would. A uh, couple of reasons why. One is because um, <sighs> they just had so much stuff that I already have. And it's not that I don't want more of it. It's that I just had to, I practiced a little discernment and self-control. There was some, there was some little, oh, let's see, what do they call them? Like the little party glass trays that you put your little snack on and then the coffee cup or the little um, glass cup sits on top of it. Party plates or can't remember. Anyways, I love those things and um, they had four of them there and I thought about it, thought about it again. When we got all done, I thought about it again. And then I just thought, ah, don't do it. But tomorrow is half price. Now, I'm sure they're not going to be there. They had four sets. Four sets of four. Tomorrow is half price day. I may go. I may take Joey to work and go see if those things are still there. They probably will not be, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do that like that, but I'm going to check it out and just see if it is. I think I could do one more little piece down here. So I'm going to have to cut that in half there. It's getting nice and nice and firm. Oh, I already have a piece there. Oh, here's where I want it. <laughs> Brother. So I think what I'm going to do is just make this a little bit more irregular. But 
before I do, I think there's something I want to put back here. Maybe we run I have some scraps here too. That's a good scrap. I cut something out of that. Let's put that there. So we, we volunteer to watch children at the ministry I was telling you about a couple days ago uh, tonight. Just waiting to hear back if, um, if the class is on tonight. I started thinking sometimes, depending on like the public schools, if they have things going on, then this class will be canceled because a lot of the parents, you know, want to partake in the what the public schools doing with their children you know they have like you know different programs or graduations or things like that so we'll wait and see what happens with that I think I'm gonna do that still not big enough Hmm, not big enough. All right, we just keep on keeping on then. That'd be pretty. Okay, so we made it through one of these. Okay. One down. Let's see if I can get any more out of that. A little bit. Can't get the whole thing, though. Okay, so we did one. Now, these ha are not, a, not brand new. Um, these are, you know, I didn't just open them, so probably would get a little bit more out of it than what I did just today. I can say though, um, I'm not, I'm not disappointed in the way that it's gluing. It seems to be working just fine. I think, I wonder if I could, I don't think I'm going to put that there. That's cute though. I've got a spot for it. I'm sure. How about we go? Let's get that purple out of there. All right, <clears throat> we're getting there. This is so great when you're collaging like this because otherwise, I mean, your fingers get a little bit gluey anyways, but if you don't have that little guy or you could use like a gift card or old credit card or something. I told you I've been cleaning out my closet with things that, you know, have been there for, you know, ever since we moved in here because... I had them all in boxes and tubs and stuff like that. And then I decided, gosh, what? I haven't even gone through all that. We've been here three years. So I decided to um, go through it. You know, some of that stuff. Anyways, I found some purses and um, I found some um, gift cards I hadn't used. That's always fun, don't you think? 
fun gift cards you hadn't used to like your the stores that you frequent. <laughs> Well, I mean, they weren't full, but what I do is I just take a Sharpie after I use them, and I'll write how much is left on it. So, they had a little bit left. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I need a couple of big spots here. Uh... We could use maybe this blue would be pretty. And since we're cutting it up, I mean, in my mind, I try to do it, I try to work on it as one piece, but you really truly don't need to work on it as one piece because you're going to cut it up into pieces. You know what I'm saying? So you don't. It's not going to end up, it doesn't matter if it's balanced, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because you're going to cut it up anyways. So I can say this glue, uh, what I do like is that it really goes on smooth. So for collaging, you know, and not wanting to... use a more expensive glue like one that maybe you would use for archiving things I think it were it's gonna work out just fine okay there's a strip I can put a strip there but now here's a big piece let's look for something there I thought I saw something here I might use what I'm doing is I'm just kind of eyeballing what might be the size of something you know like a hmm let's use this the size of a pot or a uh, tag and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off like that sorry about the do I want to take your feather off maybe we we'll just do it like this and we'll leave your feather there your wing so I've been working a little bit in my junk to journal and um, I don't know if anybody is doing that it's so fun and it's a lot of fun looking for you know looking at things that you would normally throw away kind of looking at it a little bit differently it's been a lot of fun and uh, so I'll show you that here soon, but I was gluing some things in the other day and I thought, oh, you know, this is just so nice to, you know, just sit and relax and do that. Let's see here. Maybe I'll just put a little bit there. Oops, sorry. Sorry to rock. So yeah, anyways, I wanted to thank you for putting up with me having a little drink here and there because of... Uh, how the allergies affect my my throat you know it makes my mouth so dry so I I feel like I'm drinking constantly it's a good thing I love water love it love water all right we are nearly done with this part I don't know if we'll have time for the next part, but 
we are nearly done with this part. And then, if we don't have time, what I'll do is I'll post it on my Instagram and Facebook page, the, the finals. So this needs a little something. How about just a little bit of that? That's pretty. And then I was wondering if this would, one of these would, um, would work right here. Let's just go right under the bird. I don't want to risk cutting a head off or anything. Of course, when we cut these, butterflies and birds may be cut in half. We'll see. <laughs> it's always a risk. It's so pretty, this snippet. Okay, maybe there's, let's see, is that going a particular way? I think we can get by with it. We'll just take that bird right off. Maybe we can use it later. I'd like to finish this front. Hopefully the camera won't cut off. If it does, don't forget to go over and look at our Instagram, Joey143Jenny, and then uh, you can also see some pictures on our um, Facebook page, Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Let's see. Let's find one. Get one more on there. I think, and I think that's going to be it. I think we got her covered. So while I put this last one on, I just want to remind you that we pray blessings for each of you. We're so grateful for the opportunity to, you know, have a YouTube channel. It's so fun and it gives uh, a lot of just a lot of fun to you know to play and stuff so we're grateful for that so we pray blessings over all of you thank you for watching um and then also we just want to make sure that there's not a day that goes by that you don't know that you're so loved and we believe that so thanks everyone for watching. So it turned out pretty good. So then all I'm going to do is on the flip side, I'm just going to put the coffee dyed scraps down and then I'll cut it. And I might put a couple of more layers on the top, just some little ditties from that I cut out. And I will show you the results on um, Instagram and on our Facebook page. All right, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.